well and for business updates, let's join Maria Masoni Koma. Thank you, Zulaya to Hamid and Joseph Johnson. This is Business Updates on AYV, and I am Maria Masoni Koma. Business Updates takes a brief look at the world of business and economics in and out of Sierra Leone. In today's update, Sierra Leone is dealing with the harsh impacts of food inflation, ranking second among 10 African countries with the highest food inflation rates, trailing behind Egypt, according to a recent report by Africa Business Insider. The country's food inflation has risen from 47.5% in January 2023 to 59.2%, a 12% increase that causes serious worries among regular Sierra Leoneans. Spending times to 100% increment on you previous spending, not a welcoming news, or not a welcoming thing towards the citizen. At least the government need to come in and try to see how best they will able to cater for the masses. Because right now it's too much for what you they spend for cook. We want cook right now. Pass it here. You all lose more money. Like today, so we get small money. They will cook for the family. But now the the we go na market here is five thousand for cup. The body order now is now. It's only four hundred thousand. You go left for fifty. You know we left for behind fifty thousand. But what are some of the factors and economic implications of food inflation in the country? Economist Ibrahim Justice Ganawa pinpoints some of the potential threats and economic downsides. It's one thing I always see is um, it's not just about the general inflation. It's I always focus on the food inflation because that has to do with what we call welfare management. The bread and butter issue we normally talk of is basically as a result of um, the food that we consume. So if the inflation is very high, it means it's adding more pressure on people um, that are working and those that are not working it's extra pressure so if you look now you will observe that um, the rate at which people are even saving understand in the country will have reduced significantly even though i'm not having data to the fact and um, to the effect but most has reduced significantly because anytime there's an increase a 12 percent increase in one year in terms of the food inflation tells you that what you used to save must have reduced by 12 percent because you have to survive and because you have to survive, you cannot be keeping money. And mind you, the impact again on businesses is savings always equals to investment. When I save my money, the commercial banks will use it in order for them to give out loans to people that are in the deficit region that wants to do business or other things. And that could also serve as a reduction in the creation of money in the economy. So basically, the impact here are always negative when they are high in food inflation. And even the business people are complaining about the impact on their daily lives. In today's price update, a bag of rice is sold at 850 new leons and a single cup at 5 new leons. A bag of pepper is sold at 3,000 new leons and a single cup is sold at 8 new leons. A gallon of palm oil is sold at 480 new leons and a single pint is sold at 7.5 leons. Finally, in today's exchange rate, the United States dollar buys at 22 new leons and sells at 22.5 leons. The British pound sterling buys at 27 leons and sells at 28.90 leons. Euro buys at 24 leons and sells at 25 leons. And that's it for today's business update on AYV. I am Maria Masonikoma.